Any questions from the council? No. I'm not too sure what to, what to say, but. Um. <laughs> Good, okay. Developers agreement, 73 Central yeah. Avenue. I, I, <laughs> okay, I guess I won't say anything. I inform the agendas of the developer's agreement with um, Mr. Vasciano for uh, property at 73 Central Avenue. It was a condition of the Board of Adjustment uh, resolution approving the project uh, required the execution of a developer agreement requiring a posting of a maintenance bond and certain escrow fees. The borough attorney has prepared a document and I believe there are some amendments that he would want to put on the record regarding the, the, the document that's in your packet. Okay, I, uh, I prepared a developer's agreement. Um, as Mr. Cody said, this is required by the Board of Adjustment and it's normal when um, any developer in Madison is doing improvements that uh, will be dedicated to the public. Um, the, you all have the agreement. There were some minor changes made today that I spoke to Frank Russo, the uh, consulting engineer, and uh, Alan Andreas, the architect, uh, Mr. Vasciano, the owner, that uh, had to do with um, having uh, inspection fees paid in advance, but no uh, performance bond paid. There's not, there are not extensive public improvements here, so performance bond really wasn't warranted. There will be a maintenance guarantee. Um, the original agreement said 15%, but it should have been 10%, so we corrected that. And I passed out to you all tonight the uh, amended agreement. Those were the only changes. Everything else stayed the same. Are there any questions on the uh, on this agreement? This then seeing none, they'll be listed on the consent agenda. There are ordinances for hearing. There are none. The introduction of ordinances. Will the clerk please read the statement? Well, the ordinance <coughs> scheduled for first reading has a hearing date set for January the twenty fifth, two thousand and ten. Will be published in the Madison Eagle, posted on the bulletin board, and made available to members of the public requesting copies. I call up the ordinances for first reading and ask the clerk to read said ordinances by title. Ordinance 1, 2010, Ordinance of the Borough of Madison amending section 190-33 of the Borough Code entitled Fees for Department Water Department Services to increase fees for the Water Department Services. I move, <coughs> excuse me, I move uh, Ordinance 1-2010. I second. Is there any council discussion? Seeing none, the clerk please call the roll. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Conley? Yes. Mrs. Sukamoto? Yes. Dr. Esposito? Yes. Mr. Cerciello? Yes. Mr. Lynx? Yes. Thank you. The consent agenda resolutions. Consent agenda resolutions will be enacted with a single motion. Any resolution requiring expenditure is supported by a certification of availability of funds. Any resolution requiring discussion will be removed from the consent agenda. All resolutions will be reflected in full in the minutes. Mayor, I move consent agenda resolutions R33-2010 through R37-2010. Second. Is there any council discussion or anything anyone wants held out for further discussion? Seeing none, the clerk please call the roll. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Conley? Yes. Mrs. Sukamoto? Yes. Dr. Esposito? Yes. Mr. Cerciello? Yes. Mr. Links? Yes. At this time, I'll open the meeting for invitation for discussion on any topic which the anyone from the public would like to address to the council. Um, if you would like to be recognized, if you would please come to the lectern, state your name and address for the record, and please print your name and address legibly. Mr. Zipper. About the progress of the renovation of the of the, of the Hartley Dodge building, uh, I don't see anything in the paper indicating whether it's on target or late or delayed or if there are any problems or if it's going very smoothly. And I'd like to suggest that uh, the public who are paying for the whole thing uh, should be kept informed as to what's going on over there. Now, from the outside, of course, you see a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of effort uh, demonstrated by what what just a visceral perception there, but what's going on inside? We have no idea. Now, so a specific question is, what is the latest estimate as to when it will be finished? It'll be substantially complete by Memorial Day. It's 43% complete. 
completed this year or next year? This year. <laughs> oh, great. Well, that's a plus. Okay, thank you. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to mention is in, in, your, in the, the uh, message that you read just now, I heard a connection. I didn't hear it clearly, by the way, and I'm not quite sure what it was all about. But I did hear a reference to Green Village Road School in line nine million dollars uh, no, no. in the same sentence. No, 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 no. I wish. No, no. <laughs> I you think wish. Mr. Rowe wishes as well. Oh, okay. Well, I misheard. That. No, that they've previously stated several times that they will dedicate. Miss Bailey referred to in her report a million dollars towards the field project matching ours. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you very much. And that's, you're, you, we're going to be doing more with trying to, uh, as we get a lot of visible progress. I, I spoke briefly on uh, Saturday to a group uh, about the building. <laughs> their, their speaker didn't show up, so I got to fill in. Um, it, what's interesting is seeing how it's actually taking shape when you take the site, to the job site tour. Um, if you recall the room where all of the past mayor's photos were, you can look up from downstairs. That's where the elevator's going. Um, you can see it was at one point it was just spray painted on the floor, but now walls are taking place where the uh, violation collections bureau will be. Uh, the floor has been decking has been poured for the courtroom, um, so that there's a lot of. Um, a lot of mechanical work that's been going on, but now it's really starting to move. Um, the outside of the building, the, the roofing, the flashing, the um, snow guard, things like that uh, really took a lot of beating in as far as time-wise, but they were able to catch up very quickly. We've been, knock on wood, we haven't had that much snow and ice. Um, Ray, can you think of any? No. The, the center staircase is staying. Maybe you wanted to reinforce. Oh, oh, yeah. The rotunda. Nothing has changed in the rotunda of the building, and that's that's part of the goal on Memorial Day is to not only rededicate the building, but also to be able to have people see some of the progress on the inside, and just to reassure everyone that all the historic fabric is still there and in its original place. So, and reuse of it in other spots. Anything else? Okay. Is anyone else wishing to be heard on any topic this evening? Mr. Harold Pudis. <laughs> 